Thank you, everybody, for joining us here at Metesco's channel. Just want to let you all know what we're going to be doing with this interview series. We're going to be running through the company. We're going to be running through the industry. We'll be answering any questions you guys have. So if you have any during any of this, please don't be afraid to send them over. We will, of course, be introducing and diving into members of the team. So who better to kick us off for video number one than President and Chief Executive Officer of Metesco, Larry Diamond. Larry, how are you doing today? Doing well, Michael. Thanks for uh, taking time to be with me today. Yeah, yeah. I really want to paint a picture of your past experience and stuff, really get people to know you a little more. So tell us about what you were doing prior to getting involved with this. What was that entrepreneurial spark, so to speak, for you? Actually, Michael, you know, I started my uh, career in healthcare uh, over 25 years ago, and I had the uh, opportunity to work at United Healthcare and really get exposed to really every aspect of healthcare. And I saw so many of the deficits and opportunities to improve healthcare in America. And over the years, working in the various components, whether it was home health, whether it was working with the most frailest of Americans, mm -hmm. there's always the ability to add um, the power of technology to solutions and improve the consumer experience. You know, what, we, what I believe is when we improve the power and participation of the consumer, you get a better outcome for everybody. And so for my career, being exposed to that, um, I've always been looking for those opportunities. And it really started when uh, there was a change in the reimbursement for primary care, because at the end of the day, that's where it all begins for all of us, is working with our primary care provider. And there's been so many advances in technology, uh, both from a computer perspective and medical device technology. Uh, when you have better information, you're able to move it forward quickly. And healthcare at the end of the day really is about a relationship between a provider and a patient. And so we saw the opportunity from an entrepreneurial perspective with the changes in reimbursement to reinitiate what primary care was when I was a kid, which was a relationship with my primary care provider who knew everything about me and could really help me figure out how to address the problems that I faced. And with Metesco and what we're doing and working with the team who built the Minute Clinic concept, who really changed healthcare and made it available, we saw that same opportunity to be able to really bring the consumer front and center into the relationship again with the primary care provider and move it beyond just being a 15 minute appointment, but an appointment that allowed consumers to get what they need to live a better and healthier life. Yeah, you know, Larry, I worked in healthcare for a little bit too. I was a paramedic for like seven and a half years. And I agree, as you kind of look at healthcare, obviously it's something that, that has a lot of room for improvement. I mean, technology is definitely one of those things. There's a lot of areas where it's ripe for disruption. And it seems like you found one of those areas. So now walk me through then. Now, now you're the, the president and CEO. Tell me how you acquired those titles and what that really means, right? Demystify that for people. You know, a lot of it comes through the result of experience. You know, I've worked in every aspect of uh, organization from sales, from marketing to finance. So I've had the tremendous breadth of experience in what it takes to build and manage a company. And so the opportunity coming here is I've worked in a lot of private equity businesses, building, uh, building wealth and success for the private equity funds. And so what was neat about Metesco as being a public company, uh, it was the opportunity really to take all my years of experience and bring that to bear for the benefit of the individual shareholder and give them an opportunity on really a ground floor or bootstrap uh, uh, startup I, uh, opportunity traditionally would start in private equity, but we're a public company. And so I'm able to use my resources and build a team of folks of people that I've worked with over the years who have deep expertise, experience, and incredible track records of success into this mission of building something that's unique and beneficial for, for society. Yeah, yeah, very well said. And hopefully over the course of these interviews, we can help people understand what's really being offered here by Metesco. And again, if you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to send them over. But Larry, I feel like you did a great job really introducing yourself here. Let's end it on the note of what do you? what's the key thing you really want to try to get across people during these interviews that people should be looking out for? You know, I think the, the most important thing is this understanding that each of us as a consumer have a responsibility to help take care of ourselves and our health. And all a provider can do is help you be successful. But part of that is having the time necessary with them that they understand all your struggles and difficulties. And the neat thing about Metesco and the Good Clinic in the model that we're delivering is we're able to deliver that time necessary 
to really help a person achieve a different quality of life that they have not been able to achieve so far and really get their needs met. And one of the things you'll see through Metesco is the consumer response that we're getting in the marketplace is incredibly uh, positive. You look at the reviews that you're seeing online, we're all five star right now on the Google reviews and their life changing comments about how uh, people are finally able to get the information and access and the help they need to change their lives. Why is that important? That is important because when you have customers that are happy, when you have employees that are happy, what you're able to produce for increases in value in the company really is uh, only, only limited by the availability of capital to grow the opportunity. So we've been able to prove since opening the clinics, the first clinic in February of 21, that the market definitely wants what we're offering. And now it's a matter of having that capital so we can continue the expansion of the businesses so that we can deliver what the market is saying they want. Wonderful, Larry. It sounds like we're going to have a lot to dive into over this interview, Ziri. So thank you, everybody, for being here for video number one to kick us off. Larry, thank you so much for your time today. It was wonderful getting to meet you. I look forward to chatting again soon. Please, sir, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.